Fripp's builder Mark has accepted a bet. His challenge is to build a new fence in a day. But there's a forfeit waiting for him if he fails. You're having fun, Mark. I'm loving every minute of it. So, I don't know if you remember, but in um, a previous episode of Filthy, we were walking around the paddocks and we noticed that the ponies had knocked this whole entire fence over. So, uh, Mark has finally set to work on rebuilding the fence. There he is. So, he's rebuilding the whole entire fence. He's nearly finished. We've got a brand new metal gate in here, which we love. I love these gates, they're really cool. They're just so handy. Um, so yeah, it's looking great. Really pleased with it. Hello, Johnny. Come here, Johnny boy. Come here, Johnny boy. Oh, I love him. I love my Johnny. I can't reach you. Come here. There you go. Oh. It's nail clipping day on the farm, and some of the animals are not overly keen. Goat catcher extraordinaire. Today we are cutting <laughs> goats and sheep's feet or trimming their feet. We have to do this about every six weeks um, and it's probably my least favourite job on the farm. <laughs> Wild goats would normally roam rocky areas that naturally would wear down the hoof growth. So Elaine has got an abscess on her cheek, which they drained yesterday, but it's got bigger again today. Hello. So if you can flush it out, I said with some dilute iodine um, and pop a hot compress on there and just see if you can get some any further drainage coming out of there. And then if it doesn't work, I'll give you a call back. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. All right, thanks Charlotte. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye. So Elena's got an abscess on her cheek, or in her cheek. <sighs> Don't know how, it's just appeared. The vet came and drained it yesterday, and she's told us today we have to put a hot compress on it. So I've decided the easiest way to get a lot of heat to the area quickly is in a hot water bottle. Um, so we're doing that, and then we've got to try and drain the fluid out. So I've got some needles here. Um, if we can get it back open. And if not, we're gonna have to stick a needle in and try and drain it. She says that's nice and warm. <sighs> Monty's helping. Yeah, thanks Monty. Thank you. You're a good boy. Must be well strong here, Mark. It must be really hurting her. Good girl. Is that what it looked like yesterday? Yeah. Mm. Oh no. Mm, it smells nice. Mark lost a bit. And uh, he said he could get a fence finished in one day and he didn't. So um, he lost a bet, so I've challenged or his dare or, you know, lost a bet. Forfeit, that's the word. <laughs> My brain's melted. Is to lay down in the meerkat pen, flat down and see what the meerkats do. Right, stay still, Mark. Don't move. Pretty sure at this point, Mark's just happy taking a break. Dinner is served. Stay still. <sighs> Got to cut all the cat's claws. 
Some are better than others, and some like it more than others. Some intensely dislike it. So, let's do this. Show me these little claws bobbers. In the house move, things have got misplaced, so I'm using, I don't know what these are, like some sort of little nail scissors, and they're rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Just to get the little sharp bit off, yeah. Good boy. Next. Bobcat, that's the black sack to do the littering, darling. What you doing? Sucks. I'm just going to do the litter trays. What you doing? Bobcat. Bobbers, get out of the black sack. It's not the safest, safest thing, is it, Bobcat? Hello? <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. No! <laughs> Steph's turn. Mm. It's, it's alright, Pumpers. Good girl. It's alright, Pumpers. I know. Mm. Good girl. Well done. Got you. But, mm. Pumpers. Don't take it out of Maybelline. <laughs> Don't take it out of Maybelline. Oh, oh. Well, she actually came back to hit you. <laughs> Pumpers, come make friends. Pumpers. I bet you'll want to see me when I give you your dinner in a minute. Um, is Mark actually asleep? An hour later, he is still here. Seriously regretting losing his bet. <laughs> I need to start bodybuilding again, I think. You need muscles to, <laughs> to work with animals. My muscles have all gone. The last episode you saw Maximus had the green stuff, the grass and that coming out of his nose, his food coming out of his nose. The update from that is um, we had to rush him back into the animal hospital, the equine hospital, and um, basically he had a lot, lot more wrong with him than we first thought. Um, so he had three major things wrong with him. Now all three things were life-threatening, uh, but the worst one was that he had, I don't know if you can see here, he's got um, some stitches here, um, because the worst one was that he had a thing called a fungal plaque, and the fungal plaque basically um, grows on the artery, and as it gets bigger, it can cut the artery, and what it would do is it would mean he would bleed to death with the artery being cut, but from inside. So what they had to do was tie the artery off so that the fungal plaque, they tie it above the fungal plaque, so the fungal plaque then has nothing to live on and it dies and there's no chance of him bleeding to death. Anyway, update is I have been more stressed than I've ever been in my life for the last week uh, because this little guy has been in the animal hospital again the whole time and today is the day that he gets to come home, hopefully this time for good. Um, and but the update also is that he has to be on medication for life. He's never going to be able to run around madly like all the other horses and ponies do, um, but he will be able to have a very, very happy life at Fripps. Um, we have to manage his food, we have to give him his meds, and we have to take great care of him. Um, he's going to have to have more care than all the other animals. However, it does mean that he can live a normal, happy life at Fripps. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. 